Hi love bugs, it's Kitty here once again and today I'm here with a super exciting video. I said these would be like every month and then found out that the magazine doesn't release every month. Yay! So we have another Hello Kitty magazine video and I am very very excited about this. I realise I am very far away from the camera but that's okay because I wanted to get in these gorgeous ear headband things. I'm in love with it and I have a little bear on my outfit. It's a very cute outfit today. Um, if I was better prepared I would have wore the Hello Kitty onesie. I think I said this last time as well but you know me I am not. So we are going to be looking at the Hello Kitty magazine today. It is issue 145 and it costs $5.99 apparently. So um, on the front today we have two kitty posters which I'm very excited about. It seems very like pastel and cute and obviously it's fall or autumn themed. Um, I got some, well, free stuff obviously with it. Um, I've kept them in their packaging, I'm just going to show you to them. So we have this which is a little unicorn keychain and you know what, I'm just going to open it up because I want to see this as well. I've been saving this for the video for you guys, so you better feel loved. <laughs> um, so we've got, get out, get out, get out, um, a little <coughs> unicorn stamp. We've got a pink gel pen, um, a little like notebook, and it says, follow the rainbow to your dreams, and it's just a little bit of paper. We've got some Hello Kitty unicorn and rainbow stickers and we've got the little um, unicorn head keychain which is super cute and it's so soft, oh my god, I love this. Um, and also our second free thing is these which I were like, oh my god, are they loom bands? Nope, they're apparently just mermaid hair ties. They're just like little ones which are really good for just putting up like little bits and doing little um, plaits and braids and stuff. So. They're super cute. I'm not going to open them because they'll get everywhere, but I will add them to my hair bubbly bag. So, like I said, on the front, I'll get a little bit closer just so we can see this. So we've got the posters, we've got this, we've got, what is this? A recipe for pizza portraits. Exciting. On the back, we've got free kitties to colour, uh, a game for friends, craft leaf bunting, and a fancy fan. That's very exciting. Um, so... Without further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside. So on our front page here, we have, of course, stickers. And are these football themed? Oh, that's really cute. So we've got football themed Hello Kitty stickers on the blue bit here. On this yellow bit, we've got some more like, it looks more like kind of like beachy, islandy kind of stickers. And we're just going to go to the back to see what the stickers are at the back. They are very cute little pink ones. Super duper cute. So, um, there's going to be a few things in here obviously that we don't do just now, but I will do later. So, um, our first page we have a Hello Kitty to colour in, as usual. And up the top there is a question. So, this is question number one if you're playing along at home. And question number one technically has two questions, but it is, can you name two different flowers? Um, so I'll go first and you can do one. Oh, Ash is in the room and she wants to answer. What? Which one? Orchids and hydraniums. Wow, did you hear that? Hope so. Orchids and hydraniums. I was gonna say roses and daisies. <laughs> there you go, you have four flowers you can now put in the answer. But um, if you want a different answer, put it down below as well and let me know. Um, could put lilies, could put anything. But that is question number one. They'll be on the screen at the end. Don't worry. Okay. Um, and our next bit. Oh, it's a word search. So it's a super cute word search. I'm not going to do it just now. But the words to find are all about all the little, a the little animals. So it's badger, mouse, robin, squirrel, hedgehog, deer, fox, and owl. And it says, Hello Kitty loves colourful leaves. I was like, what is this at the bottom? Leaves. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So, this bit right here is how to draw a squirrel. So, look at this. How cute is this? So it's got, you just do the little outline bit, then this, and then suddenly you've got a squirrel and you colour him in. I don't think it's quite that easy. I've, I'm never good at those. I used to try to do like, 
the cat ones and they'd always look like lopsided little round guys. I don't know what I ever did wrong but I was so bad at them always. And then it's got draw the missing half of these pictures and we've got a little leaf, a flower and another flower. Um, the next page is about ooh, leaf rubbing, well leaf printing and rubbing, which I mean there's also about leaf bunting on this next bit, so I'll skip this next bit. <gasps> oh, guys, it's time for the story! It's story time! Oh, gosh, this is so exciting. So, are we ready for story? It is called A Walk in the Woods. I hope it's not Little Red Riding Hood, because I don't want that for Hello Kitty. <laughs> Kitty was very excited as she was going to visit her grandma, who lived in a little cottage in the woods. Maybe it is Little Red Riding Hood. Every time Kitty visited, her grandma baked a delicious apple pie. Kitty left her house where she lived with Mama, Papa and Mimi and made her way to the edge of the woods. She pushed some branches apart to find her way into a clearing. Then she set off down the path that led to the cottage deep in the woods. I don't, I'm not sure I like this. It's scary. <laughs> As Kitty skipped through the trees, she spotted some pretty flowers. She thought it would be nice if she picked some for Grandma. She could see that the prettiest flowers were just beyond the path, where the trees thickened. Kitty wasn't supposed to stray from the path, but she really wanted to give the prettiest flowers to Grandma. I hope you understand this was just me as a kid. 100%. <laughs> getting lost, getting pretty flowers. Kitty hopped off the path and followed the trail of flowers deeper into the woods. She soon reached the little stream. Pretty fish jumped out of the water and colourful flowers lined the bank. She picked the prettiest flowers and put them in her basket, then turned, her, turned around to make her way back to the path. She thought she was following the trail back to where she had come from, but suddenly nothing looked familiar. The trees became so thick that the woods were very dark. And Kitty shivered, she realised she was lost. Kitty continued to wander through the woods, but she just kept getting more and more lost. She sat down on a log and began to cry. The forest could be a scary place. Grandma would be expecting her and the apple pie would be getting cold. She didn't know what to do. But just then, there was a rustling in the leaves and a little squirrel emerged. Oh, he's very cute. I may show you the pictures, but here's a little squirrel. Um, on this side we have the pie and the flowers and here's Kitty with her flowers. Kitty couldn't help but smile. The squirrel was very cute and he wasn't shy at all. He came right over to Kitty and nestled his head in her hand. Then he beckoned her to follow him. He stood up and followed the squirrel for what seemed like miles through a maze of trees. She wondered where he could be taking her. Suddenly, it was light again, and Kitty looked up and couldn't believe her eyes. In front of her was Grandma's cottage. The little squirrel had helped her find her way. Kitty thanked him and gave him a hug goodbye. She hoped she might meet him again one day. What an adventure! Oh, with a happy ending in the end, she didn't get lost. It's all good. She found her way to Grandma's house. Oh, we've got a little, a little story, a little story, a little story quiz is what it says. A little quiz for the story and um, it says this will be question two who was Kitty visiting was it grandpa grandma or Fifi I mean you know the answer I just said it but yeah, that's question two if you're playing along at home oh my gosh this is so cute this is a little game and it's called forest friends game and you'll need two counters and dice to play this game with a friend and it's basically like Kind of like snakes and ladders, it's just you go along with the little numbers here with your little counters. This is so cute, I'm definitely going to take this out. So, the bird means that you have to stop and miss a go, because you're looking at the birds. Um, if you land on a Hello Kitty, you have to pick some flowers, so go back one space. Um, if you go on a squirrel, you go forward two spaces, because you're chasing a squirrel. And if you go on the no entry sign, you have to go back to the start. There's a no entry sign right there, like right at the end. Oh, it's the worst. It's like the really big um, snake in Snakes and Ladders, like one square to the end where you have to go all the way back down. It's the worst. 
The next one is Forest Trail, which is just like the last one that we did with the different colors, where you have to go through the different colors and get to the cottage at the end. We did that one last time. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Look at this little Hello Kitty, she's an angel! Oh my gosh, what does it say? It says, do you believe in angels? Well, that's question number three. Question number three is, do you believe in angels? It has a little bit here, it says, did you know that feathers are made of keratin, which is the same material in human hair? Wow, I didn't know that actually. That explains why they're so soft and nice. And um, there is also a question here, which can be part of um, this, this third question, which is, what would you call your guardian angel? Oh, what's this one? Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many cute, like, angel Hello Kitties on this page. Um, it's basically just a little one where you put in the number of what she's doing in each picture. But I love this, and we've also got a little maze. Look how cute these guys are! They're definitely getting, um, cut out and put in my, uh, in my journal. Oh, what's this? It's a joke! What did one angel say to the other angel? Oh, sad. Halo! Like, hello, but it's a halo because they're an angel. Oh, it's a bad one. <laughs> um, we then got a matching free game here, which obviously we're not going to use. Um, and these ones are all about the tracing the words. Um, you can't really see it on the camera, but you have to trace the words to answer the questions. There's lots, lots of stuff we can do, because it's all very... <gasps> That's the first poster, though. It's over two pages, and it's flopping. It's a little angel Hello Kitty. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. It says, my guardian angel. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, guys. It's another one like last time for names. So this is your angel name. Um, they're going to be on the screen just now, what they all are, but it's the same thing as like January to December have a thing, and then all the letters of the alphabet. So my one, because I'm born in November, I am graceful, and we'll do K for Kitty. So I am, oh, not again. Why do I always get these ones? Graceful honesty. Yeah, that sounds pretty angel. Or if you use my real name, I am a graceful star. I like that. Let's see what Ash is. <laughs> okay, Mama is a, let's have a look, Mi Mystical? Yes, Mystical Aura. That's your angel name. It sounds like a cheap witch shop. Is it a magic shop? Like a, 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 a witch is an angel. <laughs> Watch out for the new Etsy store, Mystical Aura. We have a new section which is away from angels and it is about travelling. It says Kitty's Travels and it's the question which is number five, I think, is where was your favourite holiday? Um, you can just say wherever, wherever it was. Tell me in the comments. And Oh, there's a little postcard where you can draw yourself and put your name, age, eye colour and hair colour. And Kitty loves dressing up for festivals. Wow, Kitty lives a very exciting life. Up here we have, draw the next place Kitty is going to cycle to. She's in France there. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's, um, that's Sydney and that's Australia because there's a little kangaroo. That... China, and that's like the Netherlands. <laughs> I know my vague things that are there. So in the travel section there are a few different things. It's like um, a little uh, like thing to do in the England section, which is a little map thing we have to trace. In the France section there's about drawing stuff. And in Italy we have about making the little pizza things. Um, you'll need two mini pizza bases, two teaspoons of tomato sauce, 10 grams of grated cheese, black olives, green olives, and strips of ham. And it says, tip, sliced olives look great as eyes on your pizza portrait. So these look like, very funky. Look how cute these guys are. Okay, and it says, Kitty is making a pizza portrait. To make a pizza portrait of yourself, simply ask a grown-up to slice pizza toppings onto a small into small pieces 
then arrange them on your mini pizza to look like you. Just like these ones. Um, if anyone wants to do that, that sounds good. Oh, and we've come across question six of the quiz, of the magazine, of the, the whole video. It is, what is your favorite pizza topping? And it's got a very big space to write it, so I don't know if lots of people are going to put different ones. I think mine is... Um... <laughs> I like lots. I like pepperoni. I like chicken. I like just cheese. Just a margarita pizza is really nice. It's just cheese. It's good. You can't beat it. Oh, our page on Japan is how to make the fancy fan that it was saying about earlier. Um, you just have to cut that out and put it onto three little popsicle stick things and then you have a fan! Oh, and we've got a little section here which is around the world and it says Read across the captions and cross out the blue letters to reveal the names of some of the countries Kitty has visited. Oh, that's really confusing because it's got like the red and blue. Oh no, dislike to me does not like that. <laughs> uh, we have some more questions on the bottom, so this is question six. It says, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? And a part of that question is, who would you travel with? If that's your friend, or family, or maybe it's Hello Kitty, someone, just put it in the comments. And that is the end. On our last thing, we have a spot the difference, and then, is it? Look, there she is, she's, she's traveling the world. Is this the last poster on the last page? It is! That's cute! And we have done the whole magazine! That was such a cute and fun magazine. I, it was very, it was awesome and then angels and then traveling. Very interesting topics to put in one magazine, but I get it, I get it. I love our little freebies, I love this guy. I don't know where I'm going to put him because I already have way too many on my bag, but I love him. And I love everything I got, and I'm very excited to use it all and do the magazine properly. But thank you all so much for watching this. If you do like what you have seen today, please do consider subscribing and liking all that stuff. I do a new video every single Sunday where we do stuff like go through the Hello Kitty magazine, we look at stuffies, we do tours of stuff, we do hauls and mystery boxes and all of that good stuff for all your little needs. Yee. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye, baby.